video, we're going to go over Wix store collections, or also if you want to call them shop categories. So what you're going to do to add a new category to your shop is you're going to go to your editor. And when you're in your editor, come over here on the left hand side to my store and you're going to go to dashboard. In your dashboard, you're going to be able to edit what Wix calls collections. So you can come over here to store products. If you hover over it, you'll see collections. You can click there and you'll be able to manage your collections in here. So as you can see, this one here has three collections. So all products is automatically there. And then uh, I created one for sale and one for shop. You can hit the plus button to add more, uh, or you can come up here to new collection. If you have a lot of collections, you can search your collections, which is pretty cool. So if you have a collection that you want to get rid of, you can come up here and you can edit it or you can delete it. You can also add an image for that collection if it's easier for you in this screen to notice things by like blouse, shoes, things like that. If you want to edit the collection, you can come up here to edit. And inside this collection, you can see what all the products are that are in here and tagged as this collection. You can add additional products. You can come here and you can remove products. You can reorder the products in here if you would like, and you can rename it as well. You can add a collection image here, and you can also click add collection to site. This is a really cool feature because when you click it, add this collection to your site so customers can purchase from it, Say hit save and go to editor. And so it creates a brand new page just for that collection. So if you want this page to be named sale, because that's the name of the collection, you type in your page name here, create new page, and it'll hit create page. While the page generates, you'll be able to see that you now have a new collection in here. And when you go to your menus and pages, you'll see that there's a new shop one that says sale. So this you can drag around and you can add to your main menu bar if you want. If you want it hidden because maybe a button's the only way to get there, you can hide it. You can also show it, um, drag it underneath subcategories. So if you go over shoes, you'll see that sale will pop down at the bottom as a sub menu. So that's a really easy way to create a collection or a shop category page. So if you want to manage it, you can also go back to settings. Well, actually, sorry, you're going to exit out of here. You can go back to your store, go to your dashboard. And then again, store products, collections. And this is where you'll be able to go in and you can edit that sale one and any other collections that you have in here. If you want to learn more about editing this page, your collection page in particular, make sure you check out our editing shop gallery or sliders. That video will cover how to do the settings for a collection like this.